Hi everyone, this is Ivo. Today I will talk the same topic we mentioned last time, so you can see we still use a AS POC with a function card uh, linked to uh, DBP POC uh, serial port 2, that means uh, based on IS485. Again, here's the AS POC setting, and we will use the UD link. UD link means a user defined link, so we will define uh, in this board rate. And again, uh, we will trigger the command under this uh, specific uh, register. Uh, I got some feedback uh, from uh, last uh, video. So uh, today we'll uh, introduce the uh, SCM uh, setting in detail. So first of all, we can open the SCM shop, then you can click the compound setting. So you will see uh, if in in a uh, locate in which you are slot with the uh, firmware version and then we can create a group uh, list after this you can see uh, we will have a group list on the project tree and then we can select the slot after you select the slot and click OK so you will uh, show this one so next we have to uh, create the group once you create the group so you will see you will have a group one uh, with a TX packet and the IS uh, packet. And then next step, we can create the command. So here you can see uh, once we create the command, then uh, we can select uh, either send, receive, or send and receive. And today's uh, example, I will all use uh, send. That means we only send the message, but we will not uh, receive any information. Next will be a case. Uh, let's show you how to uh, try to read the D0 and D1 from 12 SA2 POC. But as I mentioned, we only set, uh, uh, send the message uh, without receiving message. So here I will show you that uh, we use the same uh, 0, 01 means the station address of 12 SA2 and 03 function call means read. And this one already mentioned last time. And we change the value to uh, read the quantity from 1 to 2. And then we can use the checksum inside. So uh, if you use this one, then no need uh, to or calculate the checksum. It will auto-generate the checksum. So this is the sequence. So first one, we create the message uh, with uh, 0103, uh, 1000, and uh, 3002. Then we here, we select the CRC uh, 16 with hex and uh, 65535 with a reverse. So this is the first case. Second case would be send the specific call. So you can see uh, we can use a uh, XTX. Uh, this one just a uh, for example. And next we use the ABCD. And uh, this one would be the ASCII string. And we send the one, two in hex. And then we have to use the checksum. Uh, in the end, we use a CRLF. So we can see the information like this. First, uh, we use the code, so you can see we select uh, STX, that means uh, 0, 02. And next, we send the uh, ABCD in ASCII, okay? Next will be uh, 12, 1, 2 in hex, and then we uh, check, uh, use checksum. So here we use the checksum, and then uh, you can set a CRLF. Final part is uh, I just want to show you that uh, we actually can check the message sent from uh, send and receive uh, from the SCM module. I mean for this uh, function card, IS485 function card. Okay, so now we go to the software. So if you still remember, we have to select the card type and select the protocol with a uh, UD link and this one we already set up and next step is uh, click here and go to SCM shop okay so here I will delete all 
Okay, so as I mentioned, this will show the basic information, and after that, we can create the group, and then we can click the first uh, slot. After that, we create the group, and here you can create the command. This one is for send only, okay? And here we can add on a TS packet. So as I mentioned, here we can send user 01, uh, 01, uh, 03, 1000, or 1. Okay, for example, we use uh, only one first. And then we can use the checksum. So we click here and select this. Here we enter 65535 uh, with a reverse. So it will auto calculate the checksum. And after that, we can download. Uh, because in this uh, example, we will show a uh, two case. So here we create another one. So we select the code and use the XDX. And next would be ABCD in ASCII. So we select ABCD. And then would be hex one and two. Okay, if you forgot, we can back and check. Next, we will use the checksum. So checksum here, you can select. Uh, we use a one byte checksum and click OK. So next, uh, we use the CR and the LF. So once we done, then we can uh, download this setting to SCM module. Okay, so as you see, once done, then we can uh, trigger the command from the specific uh, data register. Sorry, you can check from here. Okay, you leading uh, one, so we trigger from the, this uh, spatial register. And now we back to the software. Okay, so here we can switch online. And we give the value one. Then we change to zero and then trigger the second uh, group command and then stop. So we can back to here and check the command sent from our SCM module. So you will see this is the uh, call we send, send out. Okay, so from here you will see uh, we cannot find the command from uh, second uh, packet, second group. So let's back to check uh, because we did not set uh, the command here. So uh, always remember this one, if you without a uh, setting, then you will, won't send, will not send out any command. So let's download again. Okay. And then we can uh, check, uh, sorry, we can trigger the command again. So we use one first, then uh, stop, and then we use two, and then uh, stop. So back to SCMSOP, we update the data.
Okay, so now you can see uh, this one will become the second uh, group uh, command. So uh, from this uh, topic, I just want to let you know that uh, if you encounter some uh, specific application that you need to send the specific code, then you can uh, consider use uh, our ASAC module. It will be uh, much easier for you to do the programming. Uh, that's all for today's topic. Thank you.